Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I am going to be doing a video that's been requested quite a few times on my channel and that is a closet tour. So I've actually got my clothing spread out in a few different places around our house just as I've got a little bit of a powder room or a study. It's a bit of both. So some of my clothing is in there, some of it's in our bedroom, you know, in the closet or in the dresser. So I'm going to kind of show you all of the different places that I store things and pick out a few of my favorite things to share with you as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and that it might be helpful if you're thinking about getting some ideas on how to organize your closet and let's get started with the tour. Hey guys, so this is my closet. It's kind of a number of cupboards along here. This is in our bedroom. I'm going to show you in this part first because this is kind of where I start every morning. This is where all my shirts and blouses and jumpers and things are. So um, I'm just going to open it up. And this I share with Luke. So all of Luke's stuff is kind of on the side here. And then all of mine is on the side here. So the way that I tend to organize my closet is I start off with tank tops and camis. So I'll have things like, you know, my Everlane silk camis are all in here. And then I start with tank tops or, you know, sleeveless tops and blouses. And then just longer sleeve blouses, shirts, it's all color coordinated, so I've kind of got it organized by type of top in each color bracket. So you'll see it kind of goes from white to cream to sort of camel, blush, purple, blues, grays, black, and then you go into the skirts and, and shorts and things like that. So yeah, I'm a little bit <laughs> type A when it comes to this kind of thing. I like to be able to know where everything is, and I'm the kind of person that if someone comes into my room and they pull something out and put it somewhere different, I'm going to know immediately. Even if they move it over by one space, I'll know immediately because I know exactly where everything that I have is. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bit, maybe a little bit psycho, maybe. But um, anyway, that's just kind of how I've always organized it. So, like, some of the things, I mean, this you will probably never expect to see on me, but... This is something that me and my mom both had the same top. It's this really pretty kind of blush sequin top from Ashley Fogel. And it's just kind of got a lot of good memories. I actually wore this to um, one of, to a Christmas party. It was disco themed and it was so much fun with my glitter shoes. And yeah, so I really love that. And then like some of the other... I don't know, I kind of feel like you guys have probably seen most of my wardrobe, but I, yeah, I do have some other really fun pieces, like I've got kind of these really bright coral shorts from Karen Walker, which I really enjoy wearing over the summertime, they're absolutely great, and they kind of just add that pop of colour to my wardrobe, and I have things like, you know, I've got quite a few leather lace skirts, so I tend to keep them here, I've got the black and the white one of this style, and I don't know, I've got like a, this one you won't have seen too often, but I've got this red lace one here, which I really like. And kind of like my black lace one. Got a few other little bits and pieces in here, like my little leather, like, like the leather one. And I've got this really cute kind of white skirt here too. So yeah, that's sort of how I tend to organize everything here and then there are a couple of drawers down here which the top one just has all of my underwear in it and then the one below it has all of my kind of pajamas and my workout gear. So I'm just going to close these up and I'll show you into that cupboard. Okay so this is the next part of the cupboard. I don't know where to stand. There we go. I hope you guys can see in here. Maybe I might just adjust the brightness. Okay, so I thought what I might do is just kind of give you guys an overview of this, sort of drag you down so you can see everything in the closet because there is kind of a few different bits going on. So as you can see on the left, I've got all of my shoes. So starting from the top and then kind of creeping downwards. Yeah, lots of shoes at the bottom, kind of got Luke's shoes and then we've got our running shoes, that sort of thing. So that's kind of how those are all organized. I've got two layers of shoes sort of in the middle there. Um, and I'll pull a few out so you guys can see. And then on the right hand side, I've got all of my, um, 
all of my longer dresses, I've got some of my longer skirts, my cardigans, that kind of thing. So um, I'll kind of show you guys how I've organized that. So, so here on the left are all of my skirts. So I don't really have these organized in any particular order. They're just kind of, I guess, sort of like these ones are all about knee length. These ones are midi skirts. And then these ones are sort of newer ones that I picked up from Country Row. Then we've got my cardigans. And so again, I've color coordinated from light to dark that way. So obviously I've got my lighter ones, which this should actually be here. I think, yep. Yeah. And then I've got my dresses, so again, from light to dark. Um, and like I can show you a few pieces, like you can see I've got a lot of lover, like ridiculous amount, but I've got some other really cool pieces, like this skirt was my mother's and she used to wear this when she was my age and she had a matching jacket, which I cannot for the life of me find anywhere, which is a real shame because it looked gorgeous on her. And when I was younger, I actually had a um, copy of the suit. So my grandmother, my yaya, she made me the skirt and the matching jacket. And I just, you know, I loved wearing it with my mom. Um, yeah, I know that's really cute, kind of, it's a bit cute, but I really like that. And it's got such good memories for me. So we've got things like... This is one of my absolute favorite cardigans. It's kind of a mohair cardigan from Country Road and it's so snuggly, like this is perfect for winter time. I've worn this so, so much. And it's also great for, I play a lot of video games in bed, so I'll throw this on and then I'll just kind of wear this while I'm sitting in bed. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Loungewear, clothing, that also is loungewear, yeah. Um, then one of the newest piece that I've kind of got in my wardrobe is this dress here and this is from Dion Lee and this is actually what I'm going to be wearing for my engagement party which is a month away now which is really scary but it's kind of really pretty. It's got this fitted dress underneath and then two kind of floating pleated sheets. I guess one in the front and one in the back so I'm so pleased that I found that because I think it's going to be perfect. And then we've kind of got like, this is also another one of my newer ones and it was a really cheap one from ASOS. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got this flocked velvet on it. It was only $35, so I thought that was a real bargain and it's kind of got this really cute velvet bow detail at the back and it's so great for work to just throw on. Um, and then obviously on the other side of my wardrobe, I've got all of my shoes. So I am a huge shoe junkie like I absolutely love shoes and I'm always picking up new ones so I, I like I can't help myself the majority of these are designers so they're all really expensive and I'm just I don't know I really love a good shoe and because I've got um and this is really embarrassing but I've got a bit of a bunion on one of my feet so I tend to really need to get good quality leather shoes as a result of that but some of my absolute favorite shoes would have to be these um, gold sequin Givenchy heels, which I picked up, oh, did I get them? Almost four years ago now. I actually got these the first year that Luke and I were together and were up at his parents' beach place and I had zero internet on my phone, so I had to use his sister-in-law's cell phone to kind of go on to Netta Potter and buy them and I remember when I told him how I got them afterwards he told me off but I've had them for so long now and they're one of my most treasured pieces in my collection. Um, then another piece that I really love and I don't really wear too often uh, just because they're white but they're these really cute panda flats from Charlotte Olympia like I adore these I think they're so so adorable and I just really like the little print I love an animal flat I love something a little bit quirky so these are just yeah one of my favorites I really do need to pull them out a bit more often I try I kind of find that I wear shoes that I've got just sitting here more regularly because I can see them and then show you one more pair. Uh, you've probably seen these ones too, but these are my Valentinos and they're so well packaged. Like it's kind of ridiculous. Like, look. <laughs> As you can tell, I really don't want anything bad to happen to them, but um, I'm, I'm not really going to go to the trouble pulling out all of the paper, but you know, these are my kitten heels. These are sort of the 
plummy color. I really like these and I think I think these might be the shoes that I wear on my wedding day. I'm not too sure yet. I am going to be doing a um, couple of videos just on my engagement party and wedding planning process. So if you guys are interested in that, then keep an eye out as the first one will probably be coming up in a few weeks time after my actual engagement parties happened. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my dresser and then after that I'll show you my other stuff that's sitting in the powder room or today. Okay, so this is a dresser that Luke and I shared. This is actually from Ikea and we painted it white and I kind of spray painted the knobs gold. They're sort of a placeholder as I'm hoping to replace them at some point. But anyway, I just kind of run you through this. In the top drawer here, we've kind of just got really miscellaneous bits and pieces. So, you know, like deep pillars, deodorant, like all of that sort of stuff lives in the top drawer. Then in the second drawer down, this is where all of Luke's jumpers and that sort of thing live. And then if we kind of drag you down just a little bit more, these next two are mine. So in here, I, like all of my jumpers and things sit in here and maybe I should bring you a little bit closer so that you can see inside, hold on. Okay, so this is inside my dresser. So obviously it's not really that tidy. I've kind of got my big jumpers on the side here. In the middle, I've got a few different scarves and just another jersey. And then on the right, I've got all of my like lighter sweaters. So I've got a whole heap of different ones in there. And then the next one down. Then in this next drawer, I've got all of my jeans, that kind of thing here on the side. Um, then in the middle here, oops, this is meant to be in the next one, um, is where I kind of keep all of my shorts. As you can tell, that pair there has kind of suffered a little bit from <laughs> bleach, but I've got my other shorts here. These ones are from Nobody, so I just want to put those back. And then I've just got a, a few other sort of miscellaneous tees and that sort of thing. This is where I keep all of my like cute little crop tops and that kind of thing. So that's kind of it for in here. Okay, so this is the last part of my wardrobe and this is the part that sits in my powder room. So I've just got a standing rack and I'll just kind of pan down so you can see the whole thing. But it's just got a few bags on the side and then at the bottom, I've got a basket which holds all of my shoes. So in here, I kind of keep all of my coats and my jackets, like all of my blazers and everything like that, in addition to some of my skirts. I know that they're in here, so I kind of come in here to look for them. And I'll just pull a few things out so you can see a couple of the items. Hi. Okay, so this skirt here is probably one of my favorites, and this one's from Josh Gu. It's sort of like this really cute A-line skirt with this jacquard fabric in a black and a pink, and I kind of like the fact that it's got a print on it, as I don't tend to wear too many things which are printed. Then I've got this kind of peachy apricot colored three-quarter sleeve blazer from Karen Walker. This is double-breasted, slightly cropped. I absolutely adore this and I really can't wait to wear it for the spring-summer season. It's just really cute and it's fully lined. I've had this for a few years now. This is probably one of my favorite styles of jackets that she put out. Um, I really kind of wish I picked it up in a few different other colors, but they're a bit pricey. So that sort of stopped me from doing that. And then one of the last pieces, and probably one of the things that you will seldom see me wear, is this burgundy hat from Ruby. And that's Ruby in New Zealand, which is one of my kind of favorite Kiwi brands. And it has this really cute little, I don't know if you can see it, here it is, pin on the ribbon, around the, on the ribbon trim. I just really like this. I think it's really cute, and I kind of wish I had more of an excuse to wear it. So that was my wardrobe tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I, you know, I hope you guys really enjoyed getting a peek into my wardrobe and seeing all the different bits and pieces that I have. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. See you next time. Bye.